Begin by inspecting and palpating the arms and legs and knees. Then look at the appearance and assess the legs and knees for temperature. Next, we're going to assess active and passive range of motion by testing abduction and adduction. Then shoulder flexion and extension. External rotation and adduction. And internal rotation and adduction. Flexion and extension. Ulnar and radial muscles and then finger range of motion. Then we'll move to the hip range of motion of the assessment by testing flexion, extension, internal and an external range of motion. Then we'll have the patient stand and check the range of motion in the spine by having them bend forward and lateral, laterally. Then we'll move to the strength portion of the assessment, always comparing left and right sides. First, we'll begin by the bicep strength by pushing and pulling against the patient's arm. Then we'll test the hand grips. with strength and grasp. Then we'll move to check the reflexes. This is best done after range of motion and strength. Always remember to compare the sides, left and right. The bicep reflex test C5. The tricep reset reflex test C7. The brachioradial radial Test C6, the quadricep and patella L4, and the Achilles reflex S1. At this time, you could also check the patient's feet. Next, we'll do sensory. This is a limited exam performed in less abnormalities exist. You wipe the patient with a brush, light touch. Um, to make sure that they can feel sensory. Then you begin testing balance and coordination. You do the finger nose touch for coordination and skill. Then you're going to do the um, hand pat for the coordination and skill. Have the patient stand and do the Romberg test. And then you're going to examine the patient's gait by having them walk 10 to 20 steps then they will also perform a heel-toe walk. 